Hey friends, welcome back to Art of Skincare. My name is Celine and I'm an esthetician and an acne expert. And today I wanted to talk about my five best tips for when you're on a face reality routine in the winter and your skin is feeling really dry. So I'm gonna preface this with um, by dry, I just mean your skin feels a little tight, maybe you're a little bit flaky, um, maybe a, a touch bit of redness, but what dryness is not is if your skin is really flaking, very red, and if it's really feeling um, painfully itchy, or maybe every time you apply your acid serums it's stinging for longer than a minute or two, that would be different from just being dry. That would mean that maybe you're on products that are a little too strong for your skin and you wanna reevaluate what you're using. If you're experiencing any of those extreme symptoms, I really urge you to go either do an acne consultation at artistskincare.com or just reach out to our acne experts that are always live on our website during regular business hours. So, the key to continuing to clear your skin while also adding moisture is to keep using your regular corrective products at the same strength and is at the same frequency. So for example, if you are using Mandelic Acid Serum twice a day and your acne med once a day, you want to continue doing that, otherwise it's gonna slow down the process of getting clear. So the tips that I'm gonna show you today are the things that you can add or take out of your routine to continue getting results from your acne products while adding some moisture, some hydration, and just feel a bit more comfortable in your skin when it is feeling dry. Tip number one that I wanna share is if you are using a corrective toner from Face Reality like Salicylic C, or if you're not using any toner at all, then I would switch over or add in the Moisture Balance Toner. This is gonna add some really vital lipid and as well as water hydration support to your skin. And this is gonna help all of the rest of your products just feel better on your skin when your skin is feeling so parched. It's kind of like starting out at a base of hydration immediately after cleansing rather than immediately putting a corrective serum onto your skin when it's very, very dry because you just finished cleansing. My second tip involves doing a hydrobalance sandwich. So if you've not heard of a hydrobalance sandwich, I'm gonna walk you through it real quick. So what a hydrobalance sandwich is, it means that you're gonna be sandwiching hydrobalance around your corrective products. So if you're using Mandelic Serum, you're going to cleanse your skin, use your moisture balance toner, allow that to dry, then you're gonna put on hydrobalance, allow this to dry, then you'll put on your Mandelic Serum, wait for it to dry, and then you'll put on Hydrobalance again. Then, if you are using Acne Med, you would then put Acne Med on top of that second layer of Hydrobalance. This is gonna add so much more moisture to your routine while still letting you use those active products at their full strength. So my third tip probably seems a little bit more obvious, but if you're feeling really dry, you're going to want to bump up to Cran Peptide Cream. Most acne clients are on clear derma, but cran peptide is gonna be a bit heavier. My biggest tip with cran peptide cream is some people, when they switch from clear derma to cran peptide, they actually at first think that cran peptide feels less hydrating. And that's mostly because cran peptide is thicker. So cran peptide plays best when layered over the top of hydrobalance. Hydrobalance is gonna give you that water hydration and then Cran Peptide is more of that thicker, occlusive top layer that holds in all the hydration that's underneath it. My next tip includes one of my very, very favorite products from Face Reality. That is the Hydrocalm Mask. So the instructions on this mask say to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and wash off. But I find that this works so much better just used as a sleeping mask or in place of a moisturizer. Especially if you're just feeling a little wind chapped, maybe you live somewhere that's really, really cold, really windy. This relieves the redness, irritation, and some of the barrier issues that can happen when you're in really cold weather. So what I would do with this is twice a week, do your mandelic acid at night, do your hydrobalance, and then just leave off the Acumed just for one night. And instead of Acumed, do a nice generous layer of Hydrocalm mask, sleep in it, and then wash it off in the morning. I find that this is still, it's not gonna keep you from getting clear because it's gonna help support your barrier and that's really important when you're trying to clear your skin as well. 
My last winter tip is for doing some more specialty treatments without your skin getting too dry. So one of our favorite products from Face Reality is also a mask, one of their new masks that they released is this Soothing Clay Mask. So the Soothing Clay Mask is already just by itself not super, super drying. It's not like a lot of clay masks that harden down onto your face where you like, you can't even move your face because it's all tight from the clay mask. It actually stays more malleable, but clay is naturally drying. Clay is absorbing excess oils in your skin. So no matter what, if you have very, very dry skin and you apply the Soothing Clay Mask, it is going to have a drying effect. So what we have found is that Soothing Clay Mask actually works very well with Hydrobalance mixed into it. It just adds it a little bit of more of hydration, a little bit more of a jelly texture, but you're still gonna get benefits from all the soothing ingredients as well as the clay in here that is so amazing for skin that is prone to blackheads, sebaceous filaments, and more combination skin types. Hydrobalance also mixes amazingly well with sulfur spot treatment. Sulfur spot treatment is also very drying in nature just because of the sulfur in it, but if you mix the Hydrobalance into it, again, it just makes it a little more jelly, a little more hydrating, but you still get the amazing benefits of the sulfur when you leave it on your skin. You can do this mask for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse off. So those are my winter skin tips for when you're on a face reality routine and your skin is very dry. You can do these all year round. This doesn't necessarily have to be during the winter. It's just during the winter that we see a lot of our clients coming in with skin that's a lot drier or maybe more wind chapped than other times of the year. If you guys have any other questions about your routine or how you would fit in some of these steps, feel free to reach right out to us. We have our acne experts on live chat and we also have an amazing acne consultation program on our website.